Hello everyone and welcome to Goodwood Road and Racing. Today we will be giving you a right royal roundup of regular wonderful stuff that's coming up at Goodwood on our website and social media channels. Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new feature here on Goodwood Road and Racing. Uh, my name is Ben Miles, I am the digital content manager at Goodwood uh, and I am going to give you a little roundup of what's been going on at Goodwood, uh, on our website, on our social media feeds anything you could wish to watch. So we might as well start off with the big news of the last couple of weeks. Uh, we announced that the Festa Speed in 2018 as its central feature mark will be celebrating 70 years of Porsche. It's been seven decades since they first nailed together a sports car uh, so it seems absolutely perfect to celebrate them in 2018. We should have some pretty cool cars, uh, both on the hill and on the central feature. I can't tell you too much more about that just yet. Uh, if you want to know any more details, you can visit uh, the website at goodwood.com forward slash grrc, uh, or there is a little video on our YouTube channel explaining why we're celebrating Porsche. There'll be a little clip just here. Uh, you'll also find a pretty special podcast from my colleague Ed Foster. Uh, he's continuing his travels around the Goodwood Estate acting as a taxi service for anyone who needs a lift. Uh, but he's swapped the carpool hat for a chauffeur's attire to give none other than the big man, the boss, the Duke of Richmond a lift around the estate where they talk about uh, how the Duke got into motorsport, some of the incredible things that he's done, some of the things that he used to do before Goodwood became a circuit again. Uh, it's a really good listen. Go and check it out. Would make a limey. Mm, that was fairly that close. That truck. <laughs> <laughs> Would make a. Oh, he comes along. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, I suddenly don't mind the fact it's left hand drive. <laughs> so I had a major near, near truck experience there. If you want to get all of our Goodwood podcasts, you can obviously see them on YouTube. We will continue to upload them there. You can subscribe to us on iTunes and SoundCloud uh, if you want to download any of the episodes and listen to them on your phone or whatever you use to listen to podcasts. One of my favorite videos uh, that we've done for a very long time, uh, you can find reasonably close to the top of our YouTube channel at the moment. It's an onboard. Uh, it's one of the best onboards I think that we've put up or found for quite a while. Uh, what it is, is if you th imagine in your mind a BMW M1, you know what an M1 is, it looks, it's wonderful. Uh, what you do is you take out, throw away the straight six that's normally inside it. The result is nothing short of spectacular. In other news, we recently uh, piled four of us into this. Oh, by the way, it's a Nissan X Trail. Uh, we piled four of us and a load of kit into this and drove all the way down to Paris uh, through the beautiful snowy French countryside. It, it took us a very long time because of the snow, which was about five hours. To go to Retromobile, which, as far as we're concerned, is the biggest and most important classic car show in Europe. Apart from ours, obviously. While we were there, we had a quick chat with Tim Hannig from Jaguar, who gave us all the lowdown that we need on the brand new D-types. The car behind me is um, extraordinarily special to us. The car behind me is a Jaguar D-Type long nose, so it's a specification of 1956, and it is a car not built in 1956, but actually in 2017 slash 2018. We also let my colleague Gary Axon loose on some Citroen 2CVs, uh, so you can read all about the 70th anniversary of both the 2CV and the Citroen Mahari uh, over on the website if you're really that way inclined. We've been lucky enough to drive some pretty special cars 
uh, at the moment over on the website, you will find uh, our review of the brand new Aston Martin DB11 Volante, answering the question of whether it can be the best topless GT car in the world, uh, but also potentially going up against it, you'll find our review of the Ferrari Portofino, which for me is one of the best looking Ferraris that's been around for a little while and certainly is a great step up from the California. But you can find out what Andrew English thought of that uh, by checking out the website and also one of its obvious competitors, uh, Aaron Baker has been driving the Range Rover Velar V6 diesel. We're currently driving through the beautiful Sussex countryside on our way in uh, and what we are in is our long-term Nissan X-Trail. Now we've been with or rather the X-Trail's been with us since about November, probably about the time I started following this lorry. What you can't see from this camera uh, angle is quite how orange it is. It is very orange, very, very orange. Thank you, Nissan, but at least we don't really need headlights anymore. Um, that aside, this is the seven-seat model. Uh, it costs around £37,000, and for that you get quite frankly, an astonishing amount of kit for such a big car. I mean, it's huge. The, the trip down to Retromobile was absolutely easy, even with four of four full-size adults. Well, whether our photographer counts as a full-size adult is another question. Um, four full-size adults, all of our kit, and through some ridiculous French delays, uh, some classic French, here's two signs for your diversion, and then you don't need anything else. Uh, we were all perfectly fine and comfortable. Heated seats front and rear, sat nav, Bluetooth, everything else you'd expect. A quite good climate control system, very comfortable leather seats, and that one piece of kit that every driver needs and no driver needs. It's got a heated steering wheel. I mean, seriously, in the middle of winter, just having everything around you warmed before the climate control can come on is just fantastic. We'll give you some more thoughts on how it drives and everything it will make. Hopefully we'll take it uh, away from dry land. Maybe find some off-road for it. It is a big 4x4 after all. I want to give you a quick update on what's coming up on Goodwood Road and Racing. Uh, first of all is something that I am really quite excited about and I think you're going to love. Uh, last summer we took our chief track tester and resident Midlander Andrew Jordan uh, up to Donington to drive some pretty special cars. Uh, you've already seen him drive his first ever F1 car. The lucky boy managed to get in a Ferrari 246 Dino. Uh, then he terrified himself, yeah terrified himself, in a pre-war ERA. And now on the video that we held back a little bit, he's jumped into Patrick Blakeney Edwards, Fraser Nash. Um, and I think he was even more scared than before. For the, since last week, our GRRC members and fellows have been enjoying a little competition we put together uh, where Jochen Mass, Nick Manassian, Emmanuel Piro, and Anthony Reid went head to head uh, in a little pre members meeting battle. Uh, and then later on we'll have some more from them. It's all very good, it's all... If you've ever met any of them, they are some of the funniest guys you'll ever meet, so hopefully you will enjoy that. How well do you know the truck? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's very good! <laughs> Reasonably well. <laughs> uh, I hope you didn't find this video too tedious. Everything that I've spoken about will be in the description of this video. Uh, remember to give us a like, uh, to subscribe on YouTube, on Facebook, uh, follow us on Twitter, send us a safe for work image on Snapchat, uh, look at us on Instagram and subscribe there. You'll find all of our content across all of those channels. Uh, and I may, will be back at some point in the future with another little update. Uh, hopefully I'll get better at them and hopefully you have vaguely enjoyed this. Uh, so thank you very much for watching and goodbye.